I am the cat butler, and today I'm going to build my cats a maze. It is Timo and Arya's birthday, and I wanted to do something special for them. They are turning one year old. And if you didn't know, Timo and Arya are from the same letter and love to play with each other. I want to build three cat mazes in three difficulty levels, starting out easy and then finally to the most difficult level. The cats will challenge each other for a bowl of their favorite treats. Arya, these are for after you finish the maze. Timo can run awkwardly. Are they playing hide and seek? If you enjoyed the video so far, please consider subscribing. We make premium cat videos and also help you become the best cat owner. So please join us. How beautiful is that? Now for the rules. Anything goes except leaving the maze. The cats will be able to jump over the internal walls. We will call that thinking outside the box. But if the cats jump outside the external walls of the maze, then they'll be disqualified. If you're wondering where I got the cardboard bricks from, I got it from my castle in a previous video. I built a castle out of 1000 bricks. The cats really enjoyed being treated like a royal highness. I'll be attaching a small action camera to the cat's collar so you can see the cat go through the maze from their point of view. The camera weighs just 0.9 ounces or 26 grams and it won't cause my cat any discomfort. The Insta360 GO 2 is an awesome pet camera and if you want to learn more about it, I'll link it in the description below. I put some treats at the end of the maze. Aria, are you ready to have some fun? Is that a yes? Timo starts off strong, but then decides to take the shortcut. Here's footage from Timo's point of view. He runs pretty quickly to stuff his fluffy face right into the bowl. That was quick. Timo has been disqualified. Aria takes a second to scan her surroundings. and then makes a decisive move towards the finish line, completing the maze in a whopping 14 seconds. Arya has won the first maze. In maze two, Arya goes first. Arya is grooming herself. I guess she wants to look good for the cameras. Arya decides to proceed down the first wrong path. then decides against proceeding down the right path and gets flustered with another wrong path. In frustration, Arya jumps on top of the maze. Technically, Arya is still in the maze unless she decides to jump outside the maze. Arya, did you give up? You don't look too happy. Arya waits on top of the wall for what seems like ages and makes up her mind to call it quits. And she is disqualified. Here's footage from Arya's point of view. Now it's Timo's turn. Oh, Timo. Timo is outside the maze. He is disqualified. It seems like round two is a tie and it comes down to the final round. But before we can proceed, the cats are tired and need their afternoon nap. After a power nap, the cats are ready for the final challenge. Arya goes first. She thinks about quitting what will Arya do?
She sprints to the finish line. Here it is from another angle. As usual, Timo looks confused. But what is Arya doing? I think she is trying to help her brother out. Arya is trying to give Timo some hints. After a long time, Timo finally gets the hint. I think that is good enough to get Timo out of the maze. Tallying up the score, I believe Arya is the winner. Well, I hope my cats had a fun birthday. If you love the video, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. In the comments, let me know what other challenges you like to see the cats do.